Hello, Brenton with All of Acting here. In this video, I am on an adventure. I am going to my first air show at Naval Air Station Oceana in Virginia Beach. So let's go. In pretty typical fashion, I have to wait for the Gilmerton Bridge, which is kind of the consequence you pay for not wanting to go over the Jordan in my area. And uh, I'm cheap. I don't like to, to pay for things. So now I have to sit and wait, hopefully not long. There's a barge down there, and hopefully that'll be the only thing, although it looks like there might be a leisure boat out there, although he's small enough to go under, so the barge is the only thing that has to, the bridge has to go up for. So actually, while we have a minute, let's discuss this. You might be asking yourself, Brenton, how does a 34-year-old automotive and military plane enthusiast who's lived in Virginia Beach for almost 15 years, roughly 15 years, not go to an air show? And the answer to that is I have no idea. I have no idea why I've never gone to the air show or any air show for that matter. And today I'm going to change that. I'm actually gonna go. I got my Top Gun shirt on. Uh, I don't have a cool hat. So my dad has a Shaw Air Force Base hat, which is really cool. It's like old school, retro, and uh, I don't have one of those. I know he's got one of those, but I have everything else that I need. I've got earplugs, I've got my camera, and a host of other things that I guess I'm allowed to bring in. I got my folding chair and stuff like that. They aren't really clear on a lot of the instructions, so I don't know which gate to enter. I don't know where to park or anything like that. I just know what it takes to get onto the flight line. And from there, I guess we'll find out. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. It's really early on a Saturday. It's already 7.20, which is early for me. The gates open at eight, the show starts at 10, and I am pumped. You guys didn't think I would not stop and get Hot Wheels, right? No, I'm definitely gonna stop. Absolutely nothing though, lame. I've gotta stop at Target too, it's right across the street. Well, thus far, this was a good stop. Nightburners, Audubon, and a team transport, plus another matchbox. That's pretty sweet. That was an incredibly successful hunt. So now we are on to the air show. Tomcat. So I had no idea how this works, but like, I'm driving on the flight line. This is fantastic. I didn't know we would park out here. Okay, so I made it. The dude who scolded me for making a video back there, but uh, anyway, I'm on the actual runway, and this is not the first time I've actually been on this base. I've been on this base before. I've actually been on the flight line before as well. I've had a lot of friends and who've been in the military when I lived here, and I got to go on subs, and I did a day cruise on the Truman, that was amazing. I stuffed hamburgers in my pockets for like days on end because it was all free food. But uh, I guess if, I, if you count a mini air show on the Truman, that was an air show that I have been to. That was awesome. So I'm really looking forward to today. <laughs> will jump at night with night vision goggles, whatever it takes to get into their target area. Let's make some noise for the EOB team. Back in its original form to about 1945 when Curtis Bitts started it. You see a little bit of a tour of the so thus far this has been super insane. Got a late start. I've been sitting, I sat for probably well over an hour, but I'm in sight of the F-18s from the Blue Angels, which is epic. So hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of the footage. <laughs>
truck that you see here in front of you today. We're off, ladies and gentlemen. Let's watch for the start. It's time for a race, and they're off. Michael Goulian far ahead at this point, but look at the acceleration of Hayden Profit as he gains quickly on Michael and scoots by. Ladies and gentlemen, for a great race. Flag Blue Angel, number five, the lead solo. From Atlanta, Georgia, Lieutenant Commander Kerry Rickon. Flag Blue Angel, number six, the opposing solo. From Woodlaw, Tennessee, Lieutenant Commander Julius Spratton.
go, there you have it. That was my first air show. It was a ton of fun. I sat and baked in the sun all day, but it was worth it. It was gorgeous weather. I spent $15 on a pulled pork sandwich, which seemed kind of expensive, but I had a lot of fun. That acrobatic stuff is amazing. The Blue Angels were fantastic. They lived up to everything that my expectations were. So I was just super excited to be here. I'm glad I got to come. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did in the comments below. And until the next one, have a good one.